streets in all of Capital City is holding their breath as they watch this incredulous story. That's right, folks, it looks like Capital City's own Parader Vox... Vox Schneider is about to qualify for the World Championship figure skating competition. Isn't she amazing? You see, I told you. Break from school and homework and... And being a monster warrior. <laughs> One more double axle, triple twirl, backstroke. Ding! And, and she's done it! She does it! It's a perfect quadrangle! Just a moment, folks. Just a moment. Something appears to be very wrong. It's almost, it's almost as if she's distracted by something. Getting away from being monster warriors? I make the monsters big. that the capital city ice rink was a very bad thing for the city image. Huh. I mean, look. Well, sir, there's no question we have a problem on our hands. Problem? Luke, the guy's a human popsicle. I mean, not even our experts down at the capital city scientific research center know when he's gonna thaw out. Doesn't look like anytime soon. Exactly. Anyway, question is, what kind of deceitful, despicable, horrible creature can this be? Well, sir, if you'll allow me, according to what Luke and Tabby saw, uh, it's either the creature from the Klaus von Steinhauer film, The Thing from Beneath the Arctic Core, um, or it's um, the secondary creature from Ice Monster from Beyond. I'm not quite sure yet. Just figuring that out right now. The real question here, sir, is where is this creature and how can we get rid of it? On it, sir. I'm on it. I've assembled an emergency response team to explore that very question. What emergency response team? Well, due to its top secret nature, I'm not really able to... Yikes! It worked! Did we get it? Did we get it? <laughs> not yet, my fine, upstanding young citizen. No, but with the help of the monster warriors, now we'll have this giant ice cube on the run. <laughs> Am I right? Don't worry, Mr. Mayor. We won't let you down. Don't worry, Mr. Mayor. We won't let you down. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Mayor. We won't be let down. Let you down. Let me down? Where? People! If I'm gonna prove to the city that it doesn't need those annoying teenage monster warriors, you guys are gonna have to have a little pizzazz. Now repeat after me. It's monster time. It it's is monster, monster time. time. Wonderful. Wow. 
Now that is what I call ample evidence of a spatial eruption. You mean a big hole. Didn't I just say that? You guys take a look at the arena. Let's check out this crater. What we were looking for are indications of the monster's mobility and its rejection of its current habitat. You mean something that shows he left the building? Exactly. be a really small clue like a, a scuff mark on the floor or, or, or a door left slightly ajar or or this or that I would definitely view that as a clue that our monster has left the building hmm this rank must have been built on an old landfill site or something We found something. Yeah, um, what is it? Proof that our ice friend has since vacated the structure. By way of the change rooms, I found ice crystals all through there. We've got a 14-foot door cut as if by a can opener. Now, figuring that alongside the size of the original crater, if this is a normal man, this is our ice monster. Heat rays. I'm thinking heat rays. It would be the first thing they think of. How else to defeat a man of ice but to melt him? <laughs> it's simplicity itself. <laughs> oh, no. No, my chill child. Did you think this primitive heat ray could actually hurt you? <laughs> Fear not. <laughs> How are you doing? Come back here. Where are you going? Come back here. Oh, you big ninny. Stop being such a baby. What are you, a nice monster or a nice mouse? Stay still. Stop it. Stop. What should I show you? You see? You are unharmed. That's because of a new addition to my monster creating device. You are now coated with something I like to call Super Freeze. Super Freeze! Send Capital City into a new ice age. The fuck nothing. <laughs> Go, cause trouble. Do something. Come on, Huey, faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Boy. Who knew stealing all these microwave ovens was gonna be so much work? Yeah, that's because it's hot. I know they're hot. We're stealing them, aren't we? No, you twit. I, I don't mean the microwaves are hot. I'm saying it's hot outside. Yeah, you're right. That breeze is nice, though. What breeze? That breeze. It's nice and cool. Yeah, I don't feel anything. You're right, Huey. Suddenly, it's real cold. What you're looking at is the actual molecular structure of water and the dynamic change that takes place when you freeze those same molecules, thus resulting in ice. You know, living creatures shouldn't be made of this stuff. In this case, you're correct. In fact... Do you guys know where Luke is? I want to show him these. Back room. I was just looking for you. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not. You look all worried and weird. What have you got there? Um, nothing. Just something I found in the crater at the ice rink. Oh, can I see it? No, uh, it just wouldn't be a good idea. Oh, I didn't know we had secrets from one another. We don't. It's just maybe this is something I should be working with on my own. Luke, you can't keep the weight of the world on your shoulders. You need to share. Share? With us? Or at least with me? 
Sorry, I just, I thought there was something different between you and I. Here. An old newspaper. That's what you found in the crater? Just read it. But this is impossible. That's right. No, this is about us, but it's dated two days in the future. Just read the story. It says that we... It says we lose, Tabby. It says we lose in our battle to the ice monster. Now do you see why I didn't want to tell you guys? So what do you think it means? Well, I'd say it means you crossed over some parallel line of time, grabbed a bit of your own future, and dragged it into your present. It happens. You believe in that stuff? I believe in most things. You can argue against Einstein? Einstein? What's he got to do with it? Einstein hypothesized that all times might exist at the same moment, like a bunch of parallel rivers. And the trick is how to jump from one river of time to another. Sounds like that's what you've accidentally just done. But in that future time, it says we lose. Well, maybe you can change that timeline. Did Einstein say that was possible? I don't know. I hooked up with a girl from the university who borrowed the book and never gave it back, so I never finished reading it. Huh. In all this time, I thought studying von Steinhauer movies was the key. You're saying Einstein? Yeah, brother. Big time. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, you gotta cool down. I'm cool, baby, I'm cool. Hey, what, what's that? It's nothing, baby, it's, it's, it's getting cold in here. Isn't it getting cold? Charlie, Agnes, Charlie! What is that? <laughs> Famous physicists, Albert Einstein, Einstein, Albert. What's going on? What is this? Luke, Luke. Did, did you just say my name? See what's on TV. That's right, folks. Dink Dorman breaking this story for you live and in person. And it looks bad. These are the images we just received from a Capital City resident filming with a home video recorder. <laughs> the giant ice cube was walking down the main street of Capital City. It's apparently blasting everything into a deep freeze. It's pandemonium! Right into the heart of the city? It's almost like he's provoking us. Like we have no choice but to respond. This is bad. It's not bad. It's monster time. I installed to protect the housing. These heat rays should do the trick. I just hope we get there in time. We need to turn on the radio. Pandemonium everywhere. Wait, what's this? It's the Monster Warriors. They've arrived. And the crowds couldn't be happier. Did he just say we've arrived? Because we're still on our way. Thank goodness it's the Monster Warriors. Well, sounds like we have arrived. But how? Is it the Monster Warriors? Hi there. I'm 
not so sure. Uh, we're not so sure that we're so sure about this anymore. What are you talking about? You're the new monster warriors. I'll take those government-built heat rays and make the government proud. somebody's idea of us. Get out of the way! Come on, guys, we gotta get out of the way. Hey, these things don't work. Oh. Whoever those phony warriors are, it doesn't look like the rudimentary weaponry is serviceable at any temperate level against that creature. He means their heat rays don't work. Guys, get out of there! He just froze us! No, I'm mad. Oh, Superintendent, it's monster warriors. Defeated and frozen. How can that be, Superintendent? Let's go, gang. Looks like we're on. Luke, did you just see that? Oh, yeah. And we owe those phony warriors a debt. They just told us something crucial. Our heat rays aren't gonna work. My guess is that von Steinhauer has made his monster invulnerable to heat. We need a second plan. What second plan? The heat rays aren't gonna work. What else can you do with ice? We can melt it with water. Uh, crack it. Chip it with an ice pick. Ice pick? Where are we gonna find an ice pick big enough to crack that thing into? Right there. Let's go! Stairs, up the stairs! Look! We're gonna be saved after all! All right, guys. On the count of four. One, two, another way to chip a giant ice cube. There is. Get it to chip itself. Antonio! What's he doing? That lunatic! Vodka! Cover! What are you doing? Oldest trick in the book. I figure something with feet that big might not look where it's stepping. Antonio, this is so ridiculous, it's... brilliant. Thanks.
They were supposed to use their heat ray, and it would... And then the... Oh! Did you see that, Superintendent? Every time I think they're up against it, they somehow... save themselves and the city. There's no replacing them. No. Not yet, anyway. Oh, those dastardly warriors! I'll show them! Obviously, the article was about Superintendent McClellan's phony warriors when they said we were defeated. And that makes me feel a lot better. What's with you? Well, we haven't solved it yet, Tab. I mean, the problem isn't whether the article is about phony warriors or real warriors. The problem is that the article came from the future. I mean, we have defeated one big monster, but we definitely still have a huge mystery on our hands. Luke?